welcome back. This is the GSL World Championships brought to you by GOMTV.net. I hope you guys are having a lot of fun while we watch Stefano try to do what life could not, which is kill everybody. Yeah, it, it could happen. I have in this game a really good feeling about uh, Stefano winning. Yeah. I, the chances are pretty high. I think he can do it. And I think he thinks he can do it. And uh, Seed was rooting for him earlier. So, uh, map is Belshire Vestige. We haven't seen many PBZs here yet. Still kind of an untested map in that regard. So, we're going to see a great game, but we're going to learn too. Mm -hmm. How do you play on this? One of the best Zergs in the world against one of the best Protosses. No doubt. Seed, uh, Seed won uh, GSL, uh, the one we held in Busan. That's right. On the beach. Over MC. In Over fact. MC. Heavily. Yeah, he crushed him. Uh, but can he crush Stefano, who's already beaten a combined total of three GSL champions today? <sighs> I think so. Mm -hmm. Could happen. All right. Um, and it looks like we're going to get right into this. So let's get crazy, guys. Let's get loud. We're going into the match between Stefano and Seed here at Gold TV. GSL World Championship. Belshire Vestige, or Vestige, down here, in the bottom right, he is the last hope, he is... Yiji yeah. Stefano Raid Call. I feel like there's a tugboat in here every time we announce a player. <laughs> Alright, up here in the top left, a GSL champion, he is... Yeah. LG, I am Steed. And he's opened with a pylon in his base. So we'll see what he wants to do with that. Could be a gateway expand, he likes this, those. This is some new... Oh, sick. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> so, you know, this is sort of a new school build. Um, we'll see, uh, you know, where he goes with it. Oh, Ooh, and whoa, it's a whoa, quick whoa. pull from Stefano. So, so Stefano with a really quick pull against a gateway opening. Now, uh, this can be a little bit tricky on both sides because obviously you're not going for a uh, a quick nexus. You're not, you know, you don't have to pile on down the low ground. You don't have to cancel anything like that. But you have to be careful because they will try to target down your pylon to stop your gateway because if you can't get a zealot out or maybe two zealots, then it's going to be uh, pretty rough to actually hold off the zerglings. This game is going to be way different for the starts uh, from a normal PvZ. Yeah, I'm really excited about that yeah. actually. Um, so we'll see. The links are coming up there. Now, uh, Stefano has probably predicted that uh, Seed was going to go for Quick Forge. Yeah. So he may be caught off guard when he gets there. Well, he's going up. A Zealot's going to be out by the time he gets there. It is a long, long map. So Seed's going to be very happy about that. Just some very standard micro should be able to hold this. Uh, the rush not coming quite as quick as like a six bullet or something. Nice hold here with a Zealot. Got to be careful. You do Look not at that micro. He's slipping. pulling back ah! the lanes. And oh my god, he gets through. And these lanes just will not die right now. What? He Perfect lost one micro. Zergling. Thanks. Against a Zealot in a choke. I know, it's insane. I've never seen that, but anyways, he's going after the probes now. Uh, getting a little bit of damage on This is actually really good for Stefano because uh, it was looking pretty terrible for him at first, but now that he's killed a few... How many probes? Let me check. He's killed one probe, a Zealot, uh, for some lost mining time. He's getting good scouting as well, so uh, it didn't turn out as bad as it could have. This does mess up the Protoss' build by a lot. Oh, super smart. Put a pile on there mm -hmm. when he was being attacked, so the drone couldn't 
uh, make a hatchery. Yeah, and there's no lings down there to help, so he's actually... Oh, sick. Oh Tell me, God. please, he's going to pull this off. It's awesome. Proxy air attack. I <laughs> love this build. Proxy uh, air upgrades. He's going to proxy a cybernetic score and go for shields. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, that is really annoying. What does Stefano do now? He's actually just making a lot of lings and the speed upgrade. Of course, he has to get that speed upgrade because it is a one base opener. The lings will help him take out the core. And it'll give him some presence on the map. I don't think he's going to all in or anything like that. Alright, so uh, coming down here now, you know, I gotta say, Seed is pretty clever. He really took what was thrown at him mm -hmm. and managed to turn it into uh, an edge room. Yeah, he really has done that. And going up to three gates now, uh, it's probably because he's actually stalled out this expand for so long, he realizes there has to be speedlings on the way or it doesn't make sense. So you have to go three gate expand against that because if you don't, the speedlings will go in, make you cancel your nexus, kill off your units possibly if they're out of position, and generally just slow you down. So Seed's playing very smartly here. I expect to see him expand relatively soon. A lot of links, though, coming up here. Link Speed's going to finish. I think Stefano assumed Whoa. that there was actually going to be a Nexus by now. So when he sees, okay, three gates, he's, you know, this guy's going to have a fairly strong army coming up here. Mm -hmm. uh, the Nexus just now goes down, though. Let's see if he can force a cancel. Yep, that, he's going to force a cancel. Uh, no question about that. Good move by Stefano, but he has a lot of links right now. 34 and only 19 drones. So. He needs to do a little bit more here because with 28 probes against 19 drones, it doesn't matter that he had to cancel the Nexus. He's going to have a better economy uh, for quite a while. And in fact, right now, Stefano is surrounding units up at that choke. We aren't quite showing, but Zealot's very good too. It's a nice Zealot. He took that Zealot out. Yeah. Over here, uh, nice isolation. Will he do it again? Yes, he will. So just one Zergling. Oh, oh six. good work right there. Seed is so solid right now. Now he's going for that Nexus cancel once again. Will he get it? I think he definitely will taste this, and this is a big moment. Stefano is keeping the ball rolling. Yeah, that was, that was really well done, in fact. Oh, he hit half of them. He did. So smart. At the same time, Seed is getting hallucination, a good choice. And look at this, going for that cancel once again. Bringing his links and enforces the cancel. Remember, guys, you don't get all your money back. No. You do not get all your money back when you cancel. So that, wow. looks, that looks weird. But yeah, that was. <laughs> I, huh. All right. <laughs> okay. So I guess uh, I learned something. Sorry. Go ahead. No, that uh, Stefano's done a really good job with what he has. Uh, he still has 24 links out, but his drone count is scary low. He's just now got up to 31, but it's a very quick layer. So, uh, you know. I wouldn't be surprised if he went for Mutas, but he might go for Infestors just because there's so many sentries out already. Uh, and either is going to be a good choice. And that's one of the reasons people go for uh, Forge Expands all the time is because it's going to be hard to fight against Muta or Infestor that come out very quickly with a very sentry-based army that's a little bit slower to make. A super good call here with Hallucination. Yeah. You always want to do this. If you go 3-gate and do Expand, always get Hallucinate. Mm -hmm. uh, because your Robo is delayed, but you can at least scout. Yeah. I mean, and this is not some, he's not, normally with Hallucinate, you're not actually trying to fool them. I think it was designed to do that, but actually, you, you can make a Phoenix and it's so fast uh, that it'll actually scout everything. Yeah. And then, you know, so, uh, just so you guys know, it's not like Stefano's thinking, oh my god, Stargate opener. No, absolutely not. And in fact, now he has scouted that it is going to be a Spire. Now, Stefano may throw up an infestation pit as well, but... Uh, I do like this call to go for the mutas because with aggressive mutaling play, it's going to be hard for C to take a third. It's so far away. How does he defend everything against mutas and lings? And when you're on two base, you can't really just go up to size storm so easily. You really want those three bases to make a lot of stalkers, a lot of upgrades, and a lot of size storm. So Stefano is doing great right now. So confirmation again on where the spire is, and we should be seeing actually constant hallucinated phoenixes mm -hmm. because if you scout them uh you're always gonna know what they're doing but if they're attacking you you also know what they're doing so you're just using the energy for force fields yeah. so it's either one of the two well we do have blink on the way some more gates being added he may try to hit some sort of uh two base timing push with a lot of stalkers before the mutilist numbers get out of hand sure uh in which case stefano will likely target down sentries so his lings can actually connect 
Sabano does have a much more healthy drone count at this point as well. And again, another hallucinated Phoenix. As the uh, Stalkers and Sentries are coming in now. Mm -hmm. Lings and Mutas in production. We have the Can Templar Archives going up on two bases. Yep, cannons uh, for defense. This does look a little bit more like a game from the beta. Yeah, this is very you know? uh, old school style we're, we're seeing here, but that's that's what happens sometimes when you open with builds like this. Sure, sure. Um, well, Ling Muta coming up right now. Uh, we'll see how that engagement goes. But he will see that coming. I mean, he's there's been no surprises so far here for a seed. He scouted it perfectly. Yeah. I think you're right, Artosis. I think he will go for a two-base timing. Yeah, it's beginning to really look like it. With that plus two on the way, with Psy Storm uh, being researched on two bases here, while he could probably stabilize on three bases, the Mutas aren't going to be all that powerful when Psy Storm is actually out. Sure. And an Archon as well. Yeah, and realistically, Stefano needs to get a Roach Warren. Okay, just threw down the Roach Warren, so that's actually really good for him. Uh, Roaches are going to be your best bet against Psy Storm. All right, uh, Roach is a Ling's regrouping now. Stefano, by the way, has done great pushing his creep out. Um, he's got a good chunk of the map here. Uh, Psy Storm, almost done. Yep. And he absolutely 100%, yep, gonna go for a timing. He has just enough cannons that the Mutas, if he tries to counterattack, he'll lose all his Mutas. Mm -hmm. All right, well, will Stefano be able to get this done? Seed moving out right now. Oh, looks like he does want to take that third base, Stasis. Can it's coming up here, and wow, yeah, you're Ooh. Right. Whoa, nice storm there. Yeah, the storm did hit the Mutas, so they are a little bit weak. One more storm hitting them like that, and they're going to be pretty useless. But look at this, the Ling's coming down. Good force fields. Beautiful force fields. The Ling's are going to have to retreat. The Mutas still doing some harassment damage, but there is a high Templar up here. Uh, and he's doing a great job. Seed really not losing much of anything. Nice dodge though there by Stefano on the storm. Yeah, that was basically a perfect dodge. Gonna be able to assassinate another High Templar as well. Stalker's blinking up. Remember, every mute is so precious in this matchup. Yeah, uh, but he's, he's done a pretty good job with them, you know? I thought Sniper was a Korean, man, but he's he's killing a lot of High Templars off. Um, and again, great control of the Stalkers here. The uh, bottom half of the map, all creep. All creep. Uh, Stefano, about 130 supplies, so this is the part where it starts to uh, you skyrocket your supply because you have all the drones you need. Yeah, yeah. So and you just start making attack units. He's getting a lot of infestors. He's getting that roach speed, which is super, super important. Catching that hallucination. That's a little bit annoying for Seed. He's still trying to check on when the hive is, and the hive actually just started. Uh, you know, when you go for this type of tech that we see from uh, Seed, the Broodlord is going to be a very powerful unit against you. So, I mean, isn't it always, but especially here. You want the sure. Broodlords because they can snipe High Templars. And the Mutas are hiding the Mutas are hiding. Rocks. About around what looked like very old GSL trophies. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, probes being transferred. And uh, Stefano still doing a good job with the harassment. Yeah. Seed, though, uh, he's keeping his defense up pretty well. Thing is, he only has 48 probes. It's not super great, but his main base is actually going to mine out uh, yep. sooner than it normally would with this third. So it's not a gigantic oh deal. Oh, my God. Clean up all the mutas. Yep. Two mutas remaining. That's not enough to really do much of anything. Yeah, that doesn't do much at all, really. A sentry can basically take those two out at this point. So uh, at this, we're going to see Seed start to move around a little bit more. And he's going to have to, especially because that hive is about to finish. Zealot legs on the way. Uh, and, you know, Protoss is just going to try to finish up the tech tree. Um, I, oh, excuse me, is he going to push? Yeah. He is going to go for it. Uh, now, this map is so big, you can't really have solid spine crawler defense. Mm -hmm. it, could, it could occur, but it, there's so much surface area to defend with. You can't, uh, you know, take one choke point and, and cut everybody off. Exactly. It's, yeah. it's not like Daybreak in that regard. Uh, so, we'll see if he can actually uh, hold against this attack that's incoming. Mr. is actually doing a surprising amount of damage. Oh, man, this is painful to watch. Uh, okay, he does get that oh, last Oh, that nine kills at the end. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. You know, it's little mistakes like that, just not watching the minimap. That could put you behind big time. Yeah. 
All right, so Seed still not moving down that fast. I feel like we're going to have Broodlords before Seed attacks at all. And that's not good for Seed. He's going to have to just use his mobility. That's the only thing he really has against Stefano. Yeah, you, know, you, you can just straight up not engage the Broodlords, go around mm -hmm. and attack their base. Which is oftentimes the best call. It's what Hero does a lot. Yeah. Well, we'll see if that works out for him. He's starting to actually move out, but that Greater Spire just finished up a big Ling counterattack going up towards the third base of Seed with only two cannons there. He has a potential breaking through, but a lot of Zealots being warped in. Oh, and he draws like Seed back. back around. Oh. Seed in trouble. He could lose uh, this Nexus here if he doesn't... Uh, well, actually, Zealots are better than I expected. All right, and he does save the Nexus, but... Look, Stefano does not care about those links. No, he doesn't he care at all. He just wants to uh, keep the, the Seed from attacking. Yeah, and Seed didn't attack. He's pulled back so many times. He doesn't have a Stargate. He doesn't have any Colossus tech either. So this is going to be so rough to hold on against Broodlord and Fester. Those are two things you really need. Moving out now to the bottom left, but Broodlords are out. I don't really know what Stefano can do. Uh, to try to pull through here. I mean, uh, excuse me, see, to, to try to pull through here. Excuse me. Uh, coming here now, yeah, I mean, Seed's going to have to run away. Yeah. And yeah. any fungals that get down, he's just going to lose huge amounts. He's look at this. Beautiful fungals going down from Stefano. And he is breaking through Seed's army. Seed wanting another base here, but not going to happen. Working a lot of stalkers. He has to use his mobility, though. That's his really his only chance. Broodlord's moving up now, and uh, I, I feel like Stefano can't lose at this point in time. Mm. Do you agree? Well, I mean, uh, there's a possibility that Seed could run around the map and Stefano might make a few wrong choices, but right now, Stefano's taking two more bases, he's getting more upgrades, more Broodlords, and the tech is not there for Seed. We don't even have a Warp Prism on the map, and... That I mean, is true. That's, that's stuff that you just need in this situation. Pretty good dodge there. And the attack is going to commence here. The Broodler is going to push up into the second. I don't think Seed can hang on. Well, here we go. We are going to see Tasis. He does have a lot of side storms. Can he use them enough to actually kill off these Broodlords, though? All right. Uh, nice storm there on the Infested Terrans. You definitely want to use your storms to burn out their Infested Terrans. Another storm over here. And he is pushing forward. The Broodlord is dealing a lot of damage. A big blink, but he's this area is perfect for Broodlords. He's not hitting them. And Stefano may actually defeat Seed here. This is huge. We're going to be going, I think, into game. Uh, well, Korean at number four now. Either Squirtle or DRG. Yeah, this is craziness. And GG! <laughs> Damn! Wow. Man, oh man. Stefano keeps doing it. So, uh, it's funny, these games are so one-sided, too. Yeah. Uh, They're not epic back-and-forth battles. It's just Stefano is playing way better, mm -hmm. shutting down these greens. Yeah, he's, he's doing a great job, man, and he's making do with what he has. That was a dangerous area with all those speed things yeah. early on. It, Seed had crossed every T and dotted every I. He would have actually held against that and not cancel his Nexus three, four times. Stefano could have been in trouble then. Man. Uh, remember, guys, the Koreans never lose to the foreigners. Mm. It doesn't happen, but it might today. Yeah. All right, well, I mean, who do you think comes out next? Is Squirtle. it DRG or Squirtle? Squirtle? You think Squirtle? I think so. Well, I'm going to cheat and say that the next map is Abyssal City, and I don't think Squirtle wants to play PBZ there, so maybe... You uh, might be right. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, that's interesting to close with Squirtle. I hope we go to game number nine. I really want that. I think there's a good chance. I think so. Yeah, Stefano's playing really well today. Well, um, you know, what exactly should, let's say DRG goes in, mm -hmm. what does this guy need to do to win? Well, I mean, DRG CBZ is really good, but I think Stefano's is better. Well, uh, you know, I at the same time, did not Sniper win the ZBZ GSL Finals last night? And he's probably practicing DRG a lot for that. DRG might have, like, tip so top ZBZ yeah. right now. So. That's actually a really good point. Yeah, this, this could be something that impacts it. 
we're going to see soon. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, you know, things on the Korean end are going to be heating up now. There's sort of this uh-oh moment, like, wait a minute. We're down to two people? Yeah, yeah. And I uh, feel like they're powerhouses with Life and, and MC. Well, yeah, but so, they, uh, they did fall. I mean, Life was their powerhouse so far, man. He's the only one who's won a game from Korea. All right, who's it going to be? DRG's not even there. Oh, there he is. There he is. Okay. DRG. He was hiding. Uh, all right. Interesting choice. I thought he'd be the finisher. He's so good under pressure. We'll see if Squirtle can uh, do that if DRG loses. Stefano getting ready. Remember, guys, fatigue will kick in here. StarCraft is a hard game. It takes a lot of concentration. Yeah. Uh, energy output is insane for a pro gamer playing in a booth. Sure. Absolutely. So we'll see. Uh, you know, Stefano, is he capable of beating anybody? Sure. But can he beat everybody back to back? That's the question. I don't know. We're going to see that in a second. Life, life could do it. No. Uh, life, I guess, not quite. Well, you can see here, DRG, he has a few accomplishments. <laughs> Just a few. Yeah, he's won a few things and gotten a few second places as well. Well, uh, Abyssal City, I think it's going to be a standard ZDZ. Do you agree? Uh, yeah. I, I mean, it's a big map. Maybe Muta's, maybe Ling Infester. Could even be Roach Infester because of the placement of that third base. So. Sure. Uh, it's definitely a map you can see absolutely anything on in ZZ. All right. We're so close to doing this right now. Stefano, our French player, the foreigner's last hope against uh, DRG, a GSL champion. Mm -hmm. Well, the players are in the lobby and they are ready, Tasis. Abyssal City, ZVZ. We can have some really fun ones on here, especially because they have that fourth is placed down in the sure. bottom middle and top middle. Center play super important on this map. Sure. There's two two center locations, mm -hmm. unlike Antigua. Uh, you want to control both. Yeah. Well, we're going to get it started. You guys think Stefano can beat another Korean? <laughs> All right, let's do this. We're going into the next match here. Stefano against DRG here at Gold TV.